What's up, peeps? Welcome back to another episode of PA Trout Films. I'm Brandon. Uh, so as you guys can see, bent the 222 bridges again. <laughs> um, you know, managed to you know come out here for you know potentially a couple hours. It's around three o'clock right now. Um, we definitely had a little bit of snow here in the Berks County area. Probably had about three to five inches of snow uh, this morning. So got that cleaned up with my wife at home. Um, you know, kind of was talking with her and. She's like, you can go out fishing if you want. So decided I'd come out for maybe like an hour or two, uh, you know, before it kind of gets starts to get dark here. So just figured I'd come out, maybe make a quick video. Not even sure if I'm gonna catch any fish. Um, with it being as clear as it was yesterday at the water, I am gonna be nymphing. Um, so I know, uh, I, I honestly kind of like that little time lapse that I did, you know, setting up the rod. So I'm gonna do another time lapse of actually me setting up a nymphing rod this time instead of uh, the streamer rod. So we'll kind of see how that turns out. Um, but anyways, once I kind of get myself on the water, I'll be sure to bring you guys back. Oh, want to mention, happy Super Bowl Sunday. I uh, know my wife and I are honestly not a uh, huge football fans. So, you know, typically we do watch the Super Bowl just because we like to see the commercials and whatnot. Um, but you know, right now we don't have any cable. Um, we do a lot of streaming. So if we would want to watch it, we would probably have to stream it. And honestly, we have other TV shows and whatnot that we want to watch at home anyway. So good luck to whoever teams that you guys want to win. And uh, obviously, uh, like I said, once I get on the water, bring you on the chest and start making some casts, I'll bring you guys back. So, all right guys, see you soon. Enjoy the time-lapse. guys this walk is a little bit more challenging uh when there's snow on <laughs> all the rocky areas here you can't really see where you're stepping you just kind of got to trust and see where other people have walked <laughs> but uh I saw a gentleman as i was walking in he was walking out this is the car next to me obviously the only other guy there and uh he said he picked off a few but uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not surprised. I mean, obviously there's definitely some in here. It looks like my flies came undone here. Come on, come back to me. See everyone, I have mistakes too. Anyways. All right guys, as soon as I get in the water, get settled, I'll bring you back. All right guys, I'm gonna start off with obviously New Zealand indicator. Like I said, I'm gonna be nymphing today. Um, going down to 
I have like a pheasant tail on with some lively legs. Uh, my buddy Jordan actually tied this one up for me. And then below that I have a waltz worm, which has a whole bunch of gunk on it because it was just sitting in the water there. So I'll have to get that cleaned off. I don't know if you can see it. It's like it's all gunked up. But um, yeah, so let's see if that catches us some fish off, fish off the start. And then from there, you know, I'll, I'll make some adjustments. I might, uh, you know, potentially put on my typical squirmy wormy, depending on how my uh, show ends up happening here. I don't know, it depends, because it is pretty clear right now in the water. So, I have to get my nymphing back, considering I've just been streamer fishing fairly recently here for a while. So, gotta get my uh, nymphing legs back on. So anyways guys, uh, water temp is 38 degrees, um, flow is a still 195 out of the stilling basin, and then down by Red Bridge it's uh, still 236 is what I saw. It's such a beautiful uh, afternoon out right now compared to this morning, I mean it was, except we had nothing but snow this morning, probably had about 3 to 5 inches of snow around here which I was going to come out fishing early this morning, but you know, with the snow and everything, I just figured I'd wait because I knew it was supposed to clear up a little bit. But yeah, so it's kind of what I'm fishing right now. Just figured I'd throw some nymph nymphs around, see if I could catch anything. So I know I mentioned I was going to kind of fill you guys on some new gear that I got. Um, I ended up getting, uh, let's see here, sorry, I thought I had a fish on. I ended up getting a new net, so I got a um, mid-length handled, uh, you know, fish pond nomad net. It's freaking awesome. The bucket in it is great. It's so big. Um, I'll never, I feel like, lose a big fish out of it. Um, and then in the same time, like I said, that, that, there we go, fish, oh, we got off. Um, as I was saying, that, uh, mid-length handle is definitely going to allow me to kind of reach for fish, or not have to reach for fish, what I should say. But, so clearly there's some fish in here. Let's see if I can keep a fish on next time. Hopefully I don't mess up my chances now that I just hooked into one. So anyways guys, yeah, that's uh, the new net. It's great, I love it. It's very convenient. It's comfortable to use. I only, like I said, I only put one fish in the net so far, which is pretty nice. Um, and then obviously new rods and everything else. You know, I, I got this uh, nine foot five recon fairly recently with the Orvis Hydros reel, uh, Hydros three. And this has my five weight line on it. And then I also <laughs> recently got a 10 foot seven weight clear Orvis clear water. Also got another uh, Hydros reel for that. Put some seven weight line on that. Both scientific anglers line. Their line's just awesome. Um, but that's for throwing the streamers. And my parents fairly recently moved out to Pittsburgh. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to get out there and try to go fish for some steelhead recently or sometime soon. Um, so that's the reason why I have that rod so that I can fish for steelhead and also smallmouth and other bass in, in the summertime as well. Fish on guys. 
all I did was have to adjust my uh, indicator, make it a little higher so those limbs can get a little lower. It's not a very big guy, I don't think. Yeah, very little guy. All right, bud. He's going all over the place, though. and gentlemen Let's see what he took he took the pheasant tail with the lively legs look at this see I don't know if you guys can see that nice little uh it's actually a male though but uh yeah let me get a picture of him and then I'll uh give you an action shot of him real quick before I let him go all right guys Let's uh, give you a little shot of him real quick before we let him go. Yeah, just a little guy. There you go. See, he's got that nice little jaw, hook jaw. There he goes, back to the depths. Guys, got a fish. I was debating on even coming down here. I'm glad I did because man, he hit that hard. I actually switched over to a squirmy wormy, squirmy wormy as my bottom fly. I took off the waltz worm. I don't think I was doing me very good today. Looks like he took my squirmy wormy too. Man, a lot of head shakes are just a little fish. So. There we go. Alrighty. Look at that, took him right there in the mouth there. Oh, you guys can't see. Right there in the mouth. Literally right in the corner. Hops right out. Definitely a nice little fish. He's got some pretty colors on him. You guys can't even see him. There we go. Okay. There we go. Pretty colors. Not a bad little guy. Definitely has some nice little uh, white fins. All right, bud. Back to the depths. There it goes. Man, he actually hit that uh, scrimmy wormy pretty hard. I just figured I'd take a shot here right before I got back to the car. Just throw a couple casts down below the bridge here. And as soon as I made that mend, he just, pretty sure he slammed that. So let's uh, try that again. See if we can maybe get one more before we go home for the evening. Alrighty guys, another fish on. Same thing. Right in that little seam there. Man, they love the head shakes. Alright guys. go look at that another one stormy wormy of course all right bud all righty guys let's get this hook out of him
All right, buddy. Guys, you'll see, uh, has a little bit of a beat up fish there. You can definitely tell. Don't want to hold him out of the water for too long, but here we go. Not a bad fish again. Another 11 inch or so. Back to the depths. Gotta love it. Let's see if we can pull another one out yet. Seem to uh, potentially have the evening bite on with uh, the squirmy wormy hair. So let's uh, put one more cast in there. All right, peeps, thanks for watching today's video. Uh, I think I caught three fish. I think I missed like one good, you know, missed one. Which really is not too bad. I guess what's happen that's what happens when you nip instead of throwing a streamer around. <laughs> um, but anyways, you know, thanks for watching today's video, guys. Uh, still a little bit snowy out, I'm starting to get a little bit cold and obviously the sun is starting to go down at this point. So definitely time to call it, head home. It's Sunday, you know, time to get dinner and get ready for work tomorrow obviously so anyways happy uh super bowl sunday hope you guys all enjoy the game um probably not gonna end up posting this on sunday we'll probably end up you know posting this uh sometime midweek um we'll see honestly like i said it kind of depends on you know what i can get done tonight but uh anyways Please uh, like, comment, subscribe. Obviously, the more you guys like these videos, the more I can get it out for other people to see. Definitely uh, subscribe for more awesome content, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. All right, guys. Peace.